Welcome back to another Basics Game Maker Studio tutorial and today we're gonna do a little bit of a threshold on the keyboard and a gamepad where there actually is no threshold so we're gonna do an artificial one so let's say we just press really quickly we are not moving but once we are pressing enough then the player can move and this is an artificial construct because keyboards and the gamepad at least for the pad itself uh, well they just have pressed or not pressed there is no let's say just a little tiny little bit pressed or one third or half or whatever nah there's just the zero and one and therefore we're gonna do our little artificial thing so hopefully that was the stuff that one of my discord guys asked for so let's uh, jump right into it this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing alrighty so the theory and the practice is pretty easy so for example for the gamepad uh, we are just using the pad so which has just a pressed or not pressed thing of course here we have a threshold on the thumbs uh, on the left and on the right one but here just pressed and not pressed and this is basically kind of the same pressed or not pressed so here we're going to do a little bit of fakery in that regard so for the setup basically we just have our little player which are put under instances then well you create it and then boom in our step event we will do a few things so first of all i will just copy paste a few things if you're not sure about controls well this is basically the same stuff so for, let's say for example we have a keyboard and then we just say keyboard check if we are pressing one button constantly well for example the left on the keyboard the right up and down then we can actually do something this is not normally the way to go but let's make this the easy peasy way so first of all we let's say for example we are pressing right and then for example if we are pressing right we're just uh, updating the position to the right of course this is not the best way to do but this is just then later on you can advance on that if you like and then for example we just say like sweet we are pressing to the right and then we have then sprites which for example one is going down one is left right and up and then for example we can do the same stuff for all of them so basically just copy pasting from my side basically we just oh yeah that is the later part and then for example we are just uh, first of all well changing our sprite and then the second thing we are updating for example if you're pressing right we go right if we're pressing left we go left and then we do basically the same stuff but with the y value so here we're pressing up then we go minus minus and then we're pressing down and boom so let's check this out and boom we got our ooh, our dude is twitching very fast as you can see now i'm pressing well you cannot see but hopefully you're hearing that i'm pressing left right and then basically we got some movement going on of course he is kind of twitching like ultra fast so let's give this dude a little bit of a uh, slower speed but now this is of course then binary so we are pressing and this can only return a value of zero or one and then for example if we're pressing one boom um, the magic is happening here but of course this is maybe not very satisfying to you so how can we well turn this thing into well a little bit more of greatness basically just creating a threshold where there actually is none so first of all let's set our image speed to zero this is that of course an optional thing this is just for me for example um, that this dude is not twitching like crazy and for example we just say like hey what could we do well for that for example we have a variable which is set to zero and then for example once we are pressing one of our buttons we just update that number so here once again then just copy paste copy paste copy paste and then of course now we are not moving but then we can say like hey sweet what would happen for example if we have been pressing uh, let's say one of our buttons so let's say this number is getting over 30 30 is a little bit overkill but for example if we are pressing uh, more than let's say um let's say uh, 30 steps so basically half a second then we can actually do our same part which we did before but here just boom x plus plus 
for Y++ and then hopefully you understand where I'm going with this. Of course, this is not finished totally because here left minus minus and then up is minus minus. Here we go. And of course here um, we come to a little conflict because we are just updating then and then it would be all the time on. This is not what we want. So first of all, uh, we are saying like, hey, our image speed, let's go with 10% uh, and then he's not twitching. So at the very beginning, zero. But here, for example, once we are moving, then we are animating also. Of course, here would go with seven, eight as a parameter. But of course, here, this is just for demonstration values. And then boom, we're just uh, drawing that value, which is just one, one, one tiny variable above the player. So here, um, this is great, but we need to do one thing also. If we are not pressing any of our buttons, we need to reset this kind of value. So for that, as a, a failsafe, we just say like, hey, we are not pressing right, we are not pressing left, up or down, then reset the press timer value. So let's start it again. And then what you're seeing is our dude. And then for example, we are pressing left, and as you can see now, I'm just very quickly uh, pressing left, right, up. And then, for example, I'm not moving. I'm just changing the sprite. Once I am, well, in the flow, I was doing some break dancing. <laughs> not sure what that was, but it uh, that was good enough for me. Ah, never mind that. So basically, that thing is working. Of course, this is not the most perfect system. I don't know where, why I'm break dancing because. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, so uh, that was the <laughs> why we did this. And of course, we can do the same stuff for the gamepad. So we, I just copy paste that, same values, left, right, up, down, but this time uh, we are just checking the gamepad button. And here we gonna get rid of that dude and boom. And then for example, we can actually do the, the same thing with our gamepad. So these are the buttons for the gamepad. And then Hopefully you can hear that and then we can do our artificial threshold. So the above numbers going up and then once I'm not pressing any of that, boom, reset. And then we can kind of do this twitching around. And of course here, once again, if you want to advance the system a little bit, then I don't know, you don't, uh, you do this times your walk speed or whatever, how you want to define a variable. And then for example, you can have different kind of uh, thresholds for example saying like hey if we are let's say bigger than 0 0.8 then our walk speed is let's say uh, one pixel and then for example if it's uh, let's say over 30 then it's a walk speed of two times three times or whatever and here you can artificially create kind of a threshold and then uh, represent it by walk speeds and then of course boom um, here you can advance so here once again that is the easy peasy and quick and dirty way how you can define your own threshold on binary button inputs, which can just be zero or one, and therefore, boom, we can do this. So a little refreshing from my side, for example, here I did a video where you kind of have a threshold from the left to the right. So here you can you can have in-between values, and here you can have kind of an acceleration. Um, the same stuff you can actually do once again the longer you press, the faster your dude goes. So this is an option for you. Hopefully that was entertaining and not, wow, nine minutes already. So <laughs> let's stop this and see you in the next one. Have a good one. One up. In